Welcome to J&B Cottages. We are Joyce and Bruce Mason, your host and owners of J&B Cottages. We are going to show you a brief video of our cottages that ends up with a kayak and a hike to Smoky Head White Bluff. You are now viewing one of the two cottages that are within a five minute walk apart. Only a three hour drive from Toronto brings you to Cape Chin South, a very peaceful area in the Bruce Peninsula, as we are located in a wildlife nature reserve. Also, we are on the scenic route of the Bruce Trail. Both our cottages are uniquely located, only 35 minutes away from Wyerton, Tobamori, Singing Sands, which is a hike on the Huron side, Bruce Peninsula National Park, and the worldwide famous Freshwater Phantom 5 Scuba Diving Park. Tequila Sunrise is a confederation log home. It's our other favorite spot. Tequila is well equipped and furnished and it has a gentler access to the water's edge. We're all set up to go outside and take you on a quick tour of this special area with our kayaks. And if you don't have kayaks of your own, they can be easily rented at Sun Trail Outfitters. Let us now take you on our journey. We're just in front of Tequila Sunrise. We have our boats all ready to go. And we're going to kayak down to Smoky Head White Bluff. Just, just down there, it actually starts just before that point. Goes all the way around. A nice beach and then you get beautiful bluffs. <laughs> Uh, Smoky Head White Bluff now. We've just come down from the cottages. We're parked here. The bluff is just up here. We're going to take a little walk up there. But we have the proper gear for this time of year. If you are novice kayakers, the best thing to do is stay close to shore. It's fairly shallow all the way along here. Easy for novice to do. Okay, here we go. We're ready to enter the Bruce Trail. Thousands upon thousands. The trails are easily marked. And well maintained. And this, my friend, is where you end up just down from J&B Cottages. An easy walk as you see, a half hour walk, we kayaked in, and here we are. It is a nature reserve, it's not a populated trail, a lot of people don't know about it. Beautiful mosses adorn the trail. 
here's a crevice that I'm looking down, right at the edge of the trail. Notice how the trees grow right out of the rock. We're going to have another breathtaking view. 10 minute walk from the last point. Here we are. And this is where the fun comes in. You can sit here, have a glass of wine, have a beer, and just enjoy. Have a look at what we can see five minutes from JB Cottages. <laughs> you walk really fast. <laughs> and when you come up to this point, this is only a 40 minute hike from JB Cottages. This is what you'll see. Breathtaking beauty. Flowers that grow, columbines, wild columbines that grow out of the rock. We're late in May this year. So flowers are just starting. Again, if you try and transplant these flowers, they will not survive. We're coming back down to the boats now, and guess what? We run across a couple of small bears. Uh, they look tiny in the video, but they certainly were close enough for us, and uh, we just put it on for your fun. Here we go. He's not moving, so... We did bring spear spray with us. Oh, there it is. Okay, I got it. There, and I see him again. There he is there. Big black guy. See him there? There he goes. Um, Smoky Head Bluff. We've just seen two black bears. They were babies, although there's a mother close by. I had my kayak whistle, which I blew, and they ran off. line at the base of the trail and that's where we were right on that point we just had an exciting day and uh, we felt quite comfortable when we saw those two baby bears we had a whistle uh, Joyce blew it and uh, that made the move out quickly I also carried some bear spray we do have at j &B cottages as well all this stuff you can get at Sun Trail. We recommend that you speak to them. Uh, if you're kayaking, you need pumps with you, uh, you need packs, you need safety lines, you need proper uh, water gear, and you also need dry suits in this kind of, of environment.